Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. Join me today as I go through my Christmas haul, plus my pickups from the NEC Birmingham Toy Fair. Okay then, so first up we have E.T. and Elliot on his little bike. This is the pop figure. Um, what a ball lake this was trying to get. Um, I think it was three times I tried to get this from a um, a seller on eBay. Um, and each time I paid, a couple of days later, I end up getting a refund because they're out of stock. So uh, yeah. Bit of a bit of a nightmare trying to get this, but this is this is my wife's. She likes ET. She also likes um, pop figures. This is the one that she liked, so that's pretty cool. There he is, little dude there, and Elliot, and these are the rest of the figures that you can get in the line. I'm not too sure whether she's wanting to collect all of them. Um, I think this is all part of the 40th anniversary of ET. No, there doesn't say anything there on the side of the front. It's just got like 40 down there. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So again, uh, this this is my wife's. So uh, that's the first item. Give us a couple of seconds and I get the next one up. Okay, so this is the second item. As you can see, this is the Playmobil Back to the Future DeLorean with Marty McFly, Dr. Emmett Brown and Einstein the dog. Now, again, this is my wife's. She loves Back to the Future. Um, one of her favourite films. I like it. I think it's a great film. Also, as a trilogy goes, I think it's one of the best out there. Um, basically, I have Shabby Geek to blame for this. Um, watching his videos, I know he's into Playmobil. And so I thought I would uh, get this for my wife as she does like um, Back to the Future. It's quite interesting. We was um, down in Blue Water, a big shopping mall or shopping centre. Um, just... Uh, outside of London and we were walking around and we went into the Lego store and they got a Lego DeLorean and, and stuff like that and I was thinking oh maybe I could have could have got her that and as we walked out the Lego store um Georgie said to me oh yeah see I'm not too sure about this Playmobil stuff I don't know if I can collect it and, and when she said that I was like oh for the love of God you know she's not going to be liking this um so I, I kind of panicked a little bit um when she opened it Christmas morning she was well, fairly happy or she was very good acting. But um, I did say that I was worried about what you said uh, on Christmas Eve. And she said, no, what I meant was I'm not too sure whether I could collect all of it. So, um, yeah. So, you know, we, we're just going to get this and I might get a couple of other little bits as well. But yes, there are 64 pieces. Look at that. Awesome. Just turn that around and there's the back. So, yeah, Shabby, this is your doing, my friend. This is on you. Um, I would have had no interest in, in buying this at all. And then uh, I, I saw how cool it was in one of your videos. So I, I thought, why the hell not? So yes, liking that a lot. And this will look good in display once my wife opens it up and puts it on display. So yeah, that's item number two. Right, give us a couple of seconds and I'll get the next Christmas item up. Okay then, so the next items you will be seeing will be uh, presents that I got for Christmas. Starting with this, Batman, the complete animated series DVD set. I cannot wait to start watching this. I have never ever seen any of the episodes of this series. Um, I've heard so many good things about it. Um, and I know a few friends of mine were, were telling me how good it was. So I thought, why not? Um, I asked for this for Christmas um, and... Here it is, so I'm delighted with that. This is a 12-disc set, so God knows how many episodes there were, how many seasons there were. But I am looking forward to uh, watching this for sure. Um, I wish I'd have uh, started collecting the um, Batman animated series um, action figures. I know they used to do them in uh, Forbidden Planet. I've been up there a last couple of times and not seen many of them in there, if any at all. Um, of late so um, yeah 
I, I can't wait to see this and I know for a fact that once I start watching this I will be wanting to get the figures at some point. They look pretty cool. So yes, Batman the Complete Animated Series. Looking forward to watching that as I've said. Give us a couple of seconds and I shall get the next item up. Okay, so the next item I received for Christmas are these two sets of um, Star Wars Tops cards. These cards here are the um, Star Wars Tops base cards. So these are pretty, pretty cool looking cards there with the light reflecting off them and stuff like that. So I'm quite happy with those. So I shall no doubt be getting a few of those sent away at some point to get crate, uh, crated, graded. We'll move these ones out of the way. So there's a few there. So looking forward to going through those. And then here we have the Tops, um, I think, refraction cards i think they're called it does say on the back they're right in small and guess what i haven't got my glasses so again these are different art style cards with different tints to them and stuff like that and these come with the, these uh cases so i'm really happy with that these look absolutely amazing um i would be definitely get in some of these sent off to get graded as well at some point so i've got a handful of these here uh which my lovely wife got me for christmas so uh yes so she also got me a um, a folder to put these in as well. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to that. I'm really into uh, trading cards at the moment. As you know, um, I, I sent one off for uh, grading um, at so, some point this year and it come back with a big old two. So um, I'm hoping um, I'll get better better grades for some of the other cards that I send off at some point in the new year. Anyhow... That's it for that item, so what I should do is get the next one up. Give us a couple of seconds. Okay then, so the next item I received for Christmas is this four pack of the, uh, the Rebel Soldiers from Echo Base. Really liking these. I've seen reviews of these, I think they look great. Um, the only trouble is I'm not too sure where to, put, where to put these. I do have a Hoth diorama that I've done with a um, Snow Speeder and a few of the Re uh, Rebel Pilots. I'm not too sure whether that will be too busy with these guys on there. So I might do something different and put them in a different um, different scene. Or I might just have them on display um, just on their own and stuff like that. But yeah, really happy with these. Looking forward to getting these open. So I've got a couple of these packs. Not of these. I've got the um, the Shore Troopers, Shore Trooper 4 pack. And I've got the um, Rebel um, Blockade Runner um soldiers as well so i've got those four packs so yeah so looking forward to getting this open like i said not too sure where i'm going to put them um i might put a couple in with the uh the dire armor if not then they'll all be together so um yeah that'll be in an, another video give us a couple of seconds and i get the next item up okay so next we have grand moth tarkin uh on the archive uh card back from the black series Loving this figure. The card, not so much. I'll be taking him out the card anyway. I've got a great place to put him. And I know that I've ordered another couple of figures to go with him in the display. So looking forward to getting him open. Uh, this was from a daughter. So she kindly got me this for Christmas. So really appreciate that. So yes, looking forward to getting him open and sticking him on display with the others. Again, that will be another video at some point in the new year. All right, so the next two items I've got were from today at the NEC Birmingham Toy Fair. Give us a couple of seconds and I get the first one up. Okay, so my first item then from NEC Toy Fair is the Imperial Troop Transporter from The Mandalorian. I have wanted this for a long time, but um, due to high prices, I really held off from getting this. Um, I missed out on it when it first went to retail um, on the online stores. It sold out pretty quick. Um, but this was sold at a fairly decent price. I got two items for a knockdown price. This was the first item. The box, however, does look pretty damaged. There's a few dinks and uh, scuffs here and there. But I do not care too much about that. This isn't going to be staying in the box. This is coming out of the box. And this will be put on display at some point when I find the room. And I'm looking around now to try and find some room. And there really isn't too much room at this moment in time. But... I will find the room at some point. So yeah, this was at a decent price. Um, I opened it up, had a look inside. Um, it's all in its uh, cardboard and stuff like that, all in the sleeve. So looking forward to getting this open. 
Um, I think it looks fantastic, the paint apps. I've got the one from 1977, the original one uh, from the Kenner line. Absolutely love that. Never had it as a kid, but since I've got it, I've uh, seen this and wanted this one. And now I've got it in the collection, so really happy about that. Okay, so I've got one more item to show you guys. Give us a couple of seconds and I'll get it in front of the camera. Okay, so here's the second item that I purchased um, at NEC Toy Fair. This is the Republic Shuttle. This, again, um, I got it from the same seller as the uh, the Imperial Troop Transport. Um, he gave me a knockdown price on this, so I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is get it out of the bag and uh, put it together, and let's take a look at it. Two seconds. Okay, so here is the Republic attack shuttle in all its glory absolutely fantastic loving this the only issue i found with it is that it didn't come with its front landing foot so um i need to source that on ebay and uh, replace that other than that it looks fantastic really liking it i'm going to be displaying it with its wings open anyway um, i have to say bit of a ball lake trying to get it together so i had to jump onto youtube and see how it was assembled once i found out how it was uh, assembled not an issue, no worries there. What I will need to do as well is get some heat applied to this antenna, because that's a bit bendy-wendy out of place, so uh, I'll get that heated up and put into place. But yeah, other than that, really happy with it and looking forward to getting this on display. It came with a, um, a clone trooper, so I'm happy with that. This is from the um, animated series Clone Wars. What I'm gonna do is take him out, put him with my Clone Wars figures, and then get a more realistic looking clone and uh stick in there i need to get another two clone pilots now so but yeah other than that that is it so yeah really pleased with that again got it for a fairly decent price so i'm not going to scoff too much at the fact that the front foot is missing but yeah really pleased really pleased and uh once it's on display obviously i will show you guys what i've what i've done with it so yeah Anyway, I just want to give a big shout out to Dave um, from David World Toys. Got to meet him today at uh, the NEC Toy Fair. Lovely chap. Looking forward to speaking to him. Um, he will be on a future episode of My Collecting Life. So looking forward to that. And David, I shall see you again, uh, my friend, at Echo Base Live in February. So yeah, David, top guy. Just want to shout out to him. So uh, yeah, nice meeting you for the first time, my friend. Anyhow, that is it for this video. Just want to say thank you very much for your support, as always. Um, yeah, the only thing left to say is, if you're new to the channel, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. And I shall be seeing you in the next video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.